Hey guys, here with Max. This is Blueberry Pancakes. And we'll try this hand. Got the wild side in the daily cast. Both are pretty okay. Up against Cybernetics Division. We'll see what he's got. Probably some epic level jank. Well, that's pretty decent, actually. It's only $1 worse than being ETF right now. We mill career fair, which is sad. Let's see what we got in the R&D. Could have run here before that. Adonis campaign, yeah, I don't want to resonate. Don't want to try that anyway. Too expensive right now. We need to get our own economy started. Could have wild side first, but I think you want to have money to actually pay for your cards before you play too much stuff. Beta test, yes please. Jackson Howard, ah. Uh, don't really wanna pay to trash that, it's too expensive. So he's filling up. I think you want to just ignore his stuff as much as possible. It's like, what is all this stuff? Is he gonna sneak one out? Probably. So this is not a Jackson. Let's just go see what's over here. Don't really know. It's a brain taping warehouse. Okay. So that is the plan to just res biroids for cheap when I run my early clicks. So we either play around that by running later in the turn with Faust out, or we can trash it, which is kind of expensive. I don't know if we want to trash it. Hmm. Can I play this ice carver out? Yeah, I don't want to discard the knife. If we have the ice carver out, yeah, I'll play the Ice Carver out. Oh, I gotta use my Chronotype. Set that to 5. If you put your max clicks on 5, you can avoid having to click around every turn. Got an Ash in there, probably. Thinking about scoring some points. All right, what do we got in this server? It's gonna get two dollars off if he has to. Brain taping X one Marcus for two dollars less. Sure. So this is a two strength ice. So let's just trash what? Could trash the same old thing, but no, I think we just toss both of these. We can toss the parasite. We have another parasite, so I think this is probably fine. Yeah, save as a full card already, which is pretty great. Vitruvius in the hand. I figured he was going for one. Um, I've had worse than knifed, I think, is the play here. We'll trash the... Probably the... Well, definitely the Grimoire. I think the David. Archive Memories. Okay, that was a good turn. Got rid of his ice. 
stolen agenda. We're a little poor, but we can click liberated twice, play gamble, and be in pretty good shape. So we're we gonna trash this thing or just leave it. We don't have anything that lets us trash stuff efficiently. So I think we might just leave it. Uh, career fair is so satisfying whenever you play it. It's like bam. And not losing any tempo. Okay, so he's gonna go for a scoring attempt here. What do you think this is? It's not another brain taping, or it would have already rezzed it. Croder run. Leaves us two clicks to fight any kind of nasty click through Byroid. Hmm, I mean, it could also be not an agenda because this is a jank deck. Which is a little frightening. Like, we could let him score, but if he has a giant Byroid somewhere, then it's really problematic. We should go for this, I think. I'm not sure we can get in. Like, maybe we draw a Corroder run? Maybe keeping the David would have been important. Net ready, I think, reduces our hand size too much right now. Oh, Yogg is actually really good right now because I'm sure there's a victor one here. Yeah, if we run a third click, this is halfway safe while also not getting a much discount on this. He's not exactly rich, so he wants to res both these and the ash. Turing doesn't quite reach, so this Turing will just jack out and play like laundry fourth click, and that's not a big deal. Maybe he has Victor 2, we don't quite reach that either. Like ideally get the net ready eyes out and you can just break the five strength code gates with the carver yog ready eyes for free which is pretty fun we have an ichi for one less three strength so we're talking about four cards to fully break this or three cards Okay, so we'll do boost, break. Oh, the parasite seems kind of good. I don't think the Netready Eyes is that good right now. So I want to keep Levy in hand and not risk hitting it. Now this could be bad though, if we hit, I think it's too bad. Like if we hit something really unsafe, like it'll be the worst time doll, we would be able to click. Another Ichi is pretty bad. No, I think we just let him have that one. We're already up 4 0. I don't think we need to take too many chances. We'll just kill this Ichi and try to beat him on him not being ETF and not having money. Trivius, one counter. Yeah, whatever. Don't care at all about that. Get a laundry. This is kind of more than I want to spend to trash, so it's not trash that ever. Did he dump an agenda? Hmm. 
Put his nerve agent here. Probably not that great. So we got the Jackson use. This nerve agent feels slow. If we run this, we don't know what it is at all. And we don't need to run this. Maybe just build up. Get our corroder down. So we can just easily break Marcus for two now. Yeah, I think this is more of a game where you go for a traditional rig than try to Faust everything. Because, I mean, as soon as there's some danger involved, you don't want to spend all your cards on Faust and then hit a random snare or something and die. The thing is, like, his ability reduces his hand size too, which really makes him have to install agendas or throw them out. Or be really exposed with, like, you know, two out of four cards being agendas. So we could see some remote play here. Is this a CVS? Should we check that? Hard to say. Of a CVS, right? So let's uh, let's check this to see if it's CVS. No, it's a random snare just hanging out. Okay, hits our levy, which it's kind of whatever. We can same old thing, which we should promptly do, I think. Well, what could this be that costs us? He's down to seven bucks. Yeah, I'm kind of scared, actually. Yeah, why did he res that? Shall you're drunk. <laughs> Just see archived. All right, we'll run the let or no, we won't. I'll leave us tagged in a bad way. Move that tag, and then we'll just hang out for another turn. That'll let this daily cast expire, which is kind of nice. See, having the Nerve Agent, I'm kind of scared to use it because right now we die to Snare really easily. So I think we've got to play Nerve Agent while we have it. Run Levy. And try to figure out if we need to run. We don't need to run the, the HQ this turn. Because then the Snare leaves us tag last click and that's no fun. Play Mimic, Hangout. Seems pretty good. We'll try to get our data sucker this round, and then we can just break Ichi 1, or sorry, Ichi 2. We can already break Ichi 1, which is great. Hmm. So he's making a play here. Okay. We want to go in there or not? What do you think that is? Is that a Chrysium? I know what that is. 
Marcus Batty. Okay. Fair. Yeah, called it. So we avoided a brain. Good for us. Let's go see two cards. Jackson Howard, Ichi. Now we're going to have a beautiful demo run. Oh man, this is probably the best demo run I've had in a while. Doesn't happen every day. Jackson Howard, get out, archived, Ichi. Crushed. Well, we could run this last click. I don't think we should. I think we should just run the Jackson to avoid this being a safe beta test. Throw out that. Just an Eve. Probably kill that. I don't know how much it's going to cost us though. Alright, I'm curious what this is. If it's like Victor 1 as well, there's no point in resing it. Victor 2, fair. Uh, so we spent 2 out of pocket for that. I think, just, I think there's no point paying into this. I think we just pay two to get out. Well, if we trash it, we're really poor. No, there's no point paying two clicks and four bucks. We can't hit this Faust. I'm a, or sorry, can we hit this Eve? I'm assuming that's going to be Ash, though we don't know that. Like, it might not even be Ash. Will he spend more money? He won't. Vitruvius. Well, that works. Will he spend more money? No, Brain Taming Warehouse. We could even go here just to kill the the ash. Cause our hand is not that exciting. Yeah, let's try that. Then we'll know if this is CVS, because I was pretty concerned for a while about it being CVS. Alright. <laughs> Zero or one. Interesting. I don't know. I'm just going to go with the ring on this. Ring says zero. Now we're just encountering this EG, and we have to pay to trash to or pray, pray to break it. And that wasn't really what we wanted. Uh, yeah, I might as well use Faust. I don't want to pay real money for this. So this is at three. We'll do boost, break. You know, barriers aren't really even a problem right now. Keep one daily, and then we'll use the fork later. I kind of want, want to just use clicks, but no, that doesn't make any sense. We should fork this. Can we get a career fair? That would be great. No. Okay. Check what he's got in here. 
Anything exciting? Not really, huh? Okay. You could probably just go to, go to town with medium rather than even bothering with this Eve. Uh, do we need this money card? We might. Yeah, we might. So we'll plan for like a medium run and run next turn. So is he like signaling that he's got an agenda in his hand? Who knows, right? Let's just ignore that. We're already up so far. Brain taping. Ooh, maybe we do want our knifed. So that's at five strength. Hmm. Okay. Expensive. I could take a brain damage. That's fine. We can take just one. It does hit our good card, but we're out of memory anyway. Breaker Bay is a definite trash. So if we get Deja or same old thing, we can kill the Heimdall with uh, knifed, and it'll be in great shape after that. Stall, same old knifed, costs us still a decent amount of money. Six bucks. And we can do it. So we can't steal an NPD, and it'll be in our last click. I don't want to end up tagged at the end of my turn, so let's not do that. Go down to our hand size. Next turn we can just start off with the same old knifed. Also not. These brain tapings are starting to get to be an issue. We could just slow parasite it. Trash the nerve agent. Mm. Probably okay. It's a good chance to score here. He's got to have one in his hand because he hasn't able to score in a long time. Don't be snare and snare. That's okay. We had too many cards anyway. Now with our deja vu. In the trash and our same old in the trash. We actually got to use some levy. So what we're going to do here is draw up wild side. To avoid, otherwise, if we trigger max first, which is the default amount to go on, it's going to just mill us. Kill this preemptively for three clicks. Um, that's all right.
Yeah, ice carvers getting it done. Let's just jack out. Cash this out. Don't want to be at one card in hand. Just in case he has some shenanigans like, I don't know, double neurally MP. We've seen probably too many baddies for that to be the case. We saw seen two baddie two snare, so that's already six and four. It's already ten influence. And the Jacksons probably make thirteen. I think we just camp him, he can't actually score at all. So these games where you use both levies doesn't always happen. And maybe we could play more aggressively in this R and D and have one already. I'm just using a lot of caution. So even with 6MU, we're just crammed trying to fit the full breaker set in here. See the yellow beta test. Marcus 1.0. Yeah, don't really care about that. So where's the agenda? Is it in his hand? He's gonna get six bucks off, so I'd rather not run first. Kinda interesting how the brain taping does restrict. Oh, he's just tying one in his heat because of We can get to his HQ very easily. Yeah, double run's usually pretty bad. And then once in a while it's just so good and you're like, dang, I'll keep that card. And with Faust, like it's you're able to play cards that are narrower and just chuck them most of the time. And then one time it does its amazing thing and you're like, yeah, it's alright. So well, I think this is the first cut if you cut anything. It does do a thing against like combo decks as well. You can trash their whole hand like that. Kind of like Wanton. Being able to just safely run into Ichi 1 with your Mimic Carver and not have to worry about Sacred Tokens getting purged and everything. And giving you like a full card of value against all the odd numbered ice. It adds up. It's really good. Definitely like having this little one of here. Thanks for watching, guys.